major developments now in that week's long standoff in Oregon between armed anti-government protesters and law enforcement. Overnight, police making more arrests as one of the jail leaders calls on remaining militants to stand down and go home. ABC's Neil Karlinski is in Burns, Oregon with the very latest on all of that. Good morning to you, Neil. Amy, good morning. Even though it's harder than ever to get a handle on exactly what's going on out there in the compound, we do know one thing for certain. Their numbers are seriously beginning to dwindle. This morning, jailed militant leader Amon Bundy speaking out through his attorney and making an about face, telling his remaining supporters hold up on federal land to give up and go home. I love you. Let us take this fight from here. Please stand down. Overnight, the FBI taking into custody three more protesters, each facing one federal felony count of conspiracy. Police tightening their grip on the remaining militants, now sealed off by heavily armed FBI SWAT teams at roadblocks eight miles out, as we found out when approaching. We can't let anyone through this way. Police spoke out Wednesday, but gave no details about how Oregon occupier Lavoy Finicum ended up shot to death by law enforcement following a traffic stop and sweeping series of arrests along a rural road. The action leaving the occupation's leadership behind bars, but at a deadly price. It didn't have to happen. We all make choices in life. Sometimes our choices go bad. The group's supporters claim Finnegan was murdered while surrendering. They shot Lavoie and literally murdered him and was ambushed. But an alleged witness in the convoy with the militant says that's not what happened. He charged after law enforcement. He was not on his knees. That was a miscommunication. This morning, investigators here are still sorting it all out and conducting a full investigation. Meanwhile, out at the compound, we have reports of perhaps as few as five militants left, raising hopes that this long siege could soon be over.